Anglo-Welsh varsity fever hit Sandy Park as Exeter University took on an unbeaten Cardiff Met side in round five of Buck Super Rugby. It was the visitors who had the best of the opening exchanges, Brad Roderick Evans rewarding their efforts with an early penalty. It took the best part of 10 minutes for EURFC to fire their first shots, Toby Smith and Archie Hoskin taking play towards the Cardiff Met 22 before a stray pass bobbled under Kofi Barton by Fields legs and into touch. Roderick Evans then extended Cardiff Met's advantage with his second penalty of the night before EURFC finally made one of their attacking opportunities count. Off the base of a scrum, an incisive, flowing back move saw Arthur Relton shrug off two tacklers and force his way to within a metre of the visitors' try line. Flanker Cameron Bullard was then dragged down to the ground with the try line in sight. But Exeter were to use the penalty advantage well, eventually making their way over in the far corner. Charlie McCaig was unable to gather Josh Barton's pass at the first attempt, but regathered the ball and popped it off to wing Eddie Bullock, who used his power and muscle to bundle over from 10 metres. The Met response though was almost instant, and they were unlucky to have a try disallowed. Bingo Ivanisevic's pass out to Max Cunnington are judged to have gone forwards by the officials. Arthur Thomas then saw yellow for Exeter University after repeated team infringements at the breakdown. With the man advantage, Cardiff Met looked to cut loose. Jack Sylvester finding space in the Exeter defence and racing through, only to be stopped by Captain Will Yarnell. Despite having the lion's share of possession and territory, the third Brad Roderick Evans penalty of the night was all that Met were able to muster with Arthur Thomas in the bin. Knowing that they had to respond quickly, Exeter finally found themselves with a bit of ball in hand. After a strong carry and offload from Arthur Relton, the ball was worked wide to Eddie Bullock, who muscled his way into the Cardiff Met half. A series of strong carries from the forwards then drew a penalty from the Met defence. Josh Barton notching his first successful kick of the evening to take him past the half century mark of points so far this season. The visitors, though, were still hell bent on getting over the try line, and after this bump from Bingo Ivanisevic, Captain Morgan Nelson charged through a gap being hauled down just a metre short from Arthur Relton. The second half began with Exeter on the front foot, Josh Barton asking serious questions of the Cardiff Met defence. This attack was eventually ended by a knock-on in contact, but it wouldn't be long before the Exeter attack had the fans back on their feet again. That moment duly came on the 45 minute mark, after a sweeping backs move saw Kofi Barton Byfield set free down the touchline. The winger showed supreme speed and agility to beat Jack Sylvester and ground in the corner, sparking joyous celebrations. Barton was unable to convert before Roderick Evans missed his first kick of the night as the match started to turn in Exeter's favour. Barton Byfield was proving an elusive threat on his own wing, but Cardiff Met weren't going to lie down without a fight. With the match approaching the hour mark, centre Will Rigg shrugged off two would-be tacklers and burst through the extra defence, feeding inside to Jack Sylvester, who was pulled down just short of the line. Playing with the advantage, Met thought they'd hit the front again, only for wing Roma Zheng to be pulled back, with the referee harshly judging the final pass to have gone forwards. From the resulting scrum came a pivotal moment in the match, as the Exeter pack turned the screw to win themselves a penalty. It wasn't long before Exeter had their third try of the evening, albeit in fortuitous fashion. A weighted box kick from replacement scrum half Niall Armstrong cannoned off the head of the would-be Cardiff Met defender before the bouncing ball caused chaos in the Met ranks. Kofi Barton Byfield gleefully picking up the ball to dive over for his second of the match and his side's third. After Barton's successful conversion, Exeter's tails were now up, 
and they went hunting for Met in defence, including this huge hit from Toby Smith. With five minutes left on the clock, EURFC secured the bonus point score, fly half Josh Barton turning on the afterburners and feeding inside to replacement Jack Potter to streak away for a try under the posts at Sandy Park. Barton again converted to put the game beyond doubt, but it was Cardiff Met who would have the final say. Quick thinking from a penalty looked to have sent Roma Zheng in on the wing, only for the officials to rule that his foot had gone into touch. Zheng would finally cross in that same corner though moments later, as Cardiff Met finally got the score that their performance merited. In the end though, it was too little too late for the visitors, as it was left to Exeter University to celebrate another varsity victory at Sandy Park.